Our Daily Bread for January 17th, 2023, entitled Never Late. The scripture for today's devotional is found in John chapter 11, verses 17 through 27. As a visitor to a small West African town, my American pastor made sure to arrive on time for a 10 a.m. Sunday service. Inside the humble sanctuary, however, he found the room empty. So he waited. One hour. Two hours. Finally, about 12.30 p.m., when the local pastor arrived after his walk there, followed by some choir members and a gathering of friendly town people, the service began in the fullness of time, as my pastor later said. The Spirit welcomed us, and God wasn't late. My pastor understood the culture was different here for its own good reasons. Time seems relative, but God's perfect, on-time nature is affirmed throughout the scriptures. Thus, after Lazarus got sick and died, Jesus arrived four days later with Lazarus' sister asking why. Lord, Martha said to Jesus, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. We may think the same, wondering why God doesn't hurry to fix our problems. Better instead to wait by faith for his answers and power. As theologian Howard Thurman wrote, we wait, our Father, until the last something of thy strength becomes our strength. Something of thy heart becomes our heart. Something of thy forgiveness becomes our forgiveness. We wait, O oh God, we wait. Then, as with Lazarus, when God responds, we are miraculously blessed by what wasn't, after all, a delay. Reflecting on today's devotional, what are you waiting for God to do or provide on your behalf? How can you wait by faith? Let's take a moment to pray. For you, Father, I wait. Grant me your strength and faithful hope in my waiting. 